Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from ExudeAutomation.com and welcome to part 26 of our c -sharp for Automation Testing video series. And from this video, we are going to talk about c -sharp 7 new features and this is very very important to understand because we may be encountering to use the new features to leverage the power of c -sharp in our automation testing for Selenium. So in this video, we're talking about working with switch case pattern matching and understand how to use the switch case pattern matching than what we actually are using before in our c -sharps switch cases. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch uh, the previous videos so far, which is part 25, so that you can have a clear understanding of what we're going to really discuss in this particular video. So let's get started. Pattern matching. Pattern matching provides more concise syntax for algorithms we already use today. So we can use this with the if or switch statement that tests a value. Then when those statement matches, we can extract and use the information from that value. The new syntax elements are extensions of the statements you are already familiar with, which is the is and switch statements. So we are going to make use of them to perform the operation. So that's exactly what is pattern matching in a high level. But I'm not really going to deep dive and understand or make you understand how to work with the pattern matching and what pattern matching is, what is the technology behind it in detail. Rather, we'll drill down while start working with it in greater detail. So the switch case in 6.0 of C Sharp is going to be something like this. You can see that it is basically accepting a uh, literal types or it accepts the integer strings and a non null value. Even if there is a student which has different kinds of properties like grade, name, uh, an age, something like that. And if we want to uh, verify the student's age, we cannot do if you pass the switch as student.grade. So it is limited there. So if we want to verify a student itself as a whole uh, with different kinds of property, we cannot do that. And that was the limitation of 6.0s of C Sharp. Well, that was the limitation of uh, C Sharp 6.0, but rather we use the if statement with a lot of uh, and conditions to perform that operation. But right now it is possible with the switch case using this. You can see that right now I'm going to do exactly the same thing, student, uh, and rather the student dot grade of the switch uh, statement. I'm actually passing the student itself. And then you can perform the operation much like how you do in the uh, if condition, like students, uh, I'm just going to create a variable for the uh, student, which is yes, when the s dot grade is equal to 10 and s dot name contains cart, something like that. So if I do different kinds of a combination in the conditional statements there, I can print the exact value of, uh, of what I'm expecting. So there are different kinds of condition I can mix and match and I can perform the operation where the limitation of the earlier version is exactly one way of doing it. So you may end up with different kinds of case statements in pre previous versions of C Sharp, but right now we don't really have to do that. So that's the why the when keyword is very, very helpful. So let's quickly see this in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. All right, so this is the same project which we were working in our previous video. And until last video, we were working with the Lambda expressions, with delegates, and how to work with anonymous methods and something like that. But right now, I'm going to switch my attention to C Sharp 7.0's new features. So basically, this code is going to be commented as well. So I'm not going to really use them anymore. Rather, the most simplest way of doing it is I'm going to create a folder there and let's add some code in there. So let's call this as uh, sharp seven as the uh, folder name and I'm going to create a class within in there and uh, let's call this as uh, sh uh, new features and this is going to have that. All right. So I'm going to say public class new features and here I'm going to create a class. Maybe uh, let's call this class as a students class. And this students class is going to have uh, different kinds of property uh, like name, oops, name and uh, age and uh, his grade. And uh, his gender, right? 
something like that. So the student is going to have all these kinds of different properties. And let's say I'm going to create an array of uh, value for this particular student. So actually, I don't really have that yet. So I'm going to create that. So student, yes, is equal to new of list of students. So basically, I'm going to create some uh, list of students so that I can basically play around with them. All right. And this is going to be var type or else it's going to combine us with some errors and var type cannot be defined within uh, a class because that's going to be a problematic thing so uh, i'm going to create a constructor maybe so that it can initialize as well if i call this particular new feature class and now i'm going to create uh, different kinds of uh, different students basically so the different students are going to be this uh, with different values. So it is going to have a name as uh, Karthik and age as uh, 20 and gender as male. Oops. All right, cool. So now everything is there. Uh, we have a list of students while we call this particular uh, class. We will actually uh, eventually get them right and now i'm going to create one more method within this particular class so uh, let's call this as public wide get students uh, info with grade so i'm going to pass the student and this is going to give me the information based on the criteria that i'm passing in so basically it is going to be very very simple i'm going to create a switch case statement but i'm not really going to jump in the c sharp 6.0 feature because which you already know uh, so that's why i'm not really going to deep dive in that rather i'm just going to do this so i'm just going to pass in the student itself directly in the switch statement and for the case what i can do is this time you can see i can create a type for the student and I can say when s dot so cool right when s dot grade is equal to first and s dot name dot contains what is called a cart something like that then you get the information of the particular student so you can say something like console dot oops yeah I have to put a colon here. Console at right line and say, and then I'm going to use the break. Right. Similarly, I can create one more case statement here. Uh, so grade is equal to maybe I can just remove the uh, grade thing. Rather, uh, when the uh, s dot grade is equal to uh, super first so you can see this time I can actually perform that operation of getting the student with name Sri right so I'm not going to work with the default which is pretty much exactly the same thing so now we have this guest student info with grade so I'm gonna save it and now let's go to the program.cs file and let's call the new feature New features all right uh, feature is equal to new of new feature so this constructor is going to initialize all the students for me and now if I call the feature dot get student uh, info with grade and I need to pass the uh, students variable so basically the students variable is actually gonna sit within this class so basically what I'm going to do maybe I can just create a uh, list of student and student is equal to uh, null and I can have this in here student is equal to yes something like that let's make this as public so 
so feature dot student so I now will have the uh, student in here uh, but this is going to be a list of students so I need to enumerate that as well so what if I do a for each loop of feature of students or maybe let's say uh, I want to pass the first student itself so maybe I can do that as well instead of enumerating oops I need to add the link uh, directive here using system dot link so now you know the power of link right we can use the first method uh, to get the first element I'm gonna save it and now if I run this particular piece of code you can see that the student with name Karthik with age 20 is actually being printing right and this is happening because we have the uh, grade of Karthik as first and Karthik is also matching here because the contact is card right let's say if it is going to be uh, if you're going to remove this particular uh, condition here I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna save it and if I run this particular piece of code you can actually get this as well because it is first there uh, in the grade maybe I can change it to something garbled there what's gonna happen it's not gonna print anything because it is basically going to the default and it is printing nothing to us right so that's the power of uh, the switch case with the pattern matching itself right this is how you can actually work with pattern matching of C sharp and now what if I want to do with the second student maybe uh, let's do this student I can do a select query x as that x dot grade is equal to super first uh, I can do that oh maybe spur condition okay so now you can see that I'm using a lambda expression to pass in the value so basically this guy is going to basically get the student who has the condition of super first being matched in. So now if I run this particular piece of code, you can see that the Sri with age 10 is going to be printed. And now you can see that we are using link as well as we are using the new features of C sharp, everything mixed and matched in uh, one particular piece to perform a lot of operation here. So basically, if you have watched my previous videos, how we worked with C sharp, with link and all those things, these things are going to be uh, very familiar to you and we have already worked with them a lot in our previous videos so basically what i'm doing is i'm going to fetch a student whose grade is super first and i'm going to pass that as a parameter because i don't really want to iterate here i'm reducing the iteration altogether and i'm choosing the three in here and i'm going to test whether the case statement is really working or not so super first is the grade and i'm passing that particular student and it's actually printed value and it's working right so that's it guys this is the new feature of c sharp 7 for the switch case statement and you can see how beautiful it is to work with the different kinds of condition mixed and matched in here and once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day